Hey guys, what's going on? It's Josh, the Millennial Reefer here, and today I am headed to a clownfish breeder. So, big spoiler alert, but if you go back to my very first video on the channel, I set up a clownfish harem. And it was a disaster from the start. I didn't know what I was doing. I just saw it on BRS TV and I wanted to do it. So, that being said, I'm going to be setting up my very own clownfish harem all over again. But, I'm kind of going to start at the basics. So, today, I found a local breeder here in the Kansas City area, and I am going to go see his setup, and he's going to show me his clownfish. I think it's awesome, so we'll go check out his setup, and I will leave a description to his Facebook page below if you want to check him out um, and order some clownfish. And if you're in the Kansas City area and you're looking for a bunch of clowns or whatever, hit him up, and let's go check it out. All right, my name is Aaron. Welcome to my garage. Here's my clownfish. These are just some regular oscillators here. Some Picassos. You told me a story about these guys? I have had these guys here a long time, and they finally just started laying eggs for me. Like, I've had them for some years now, and it's been a work in progress. And this is another with the regular oscillators. And these are they don't look like they look normal, they look mocha, but they got Da Vinci blood in them. So they give me some Da Vinci's. And that's my four breeding pair that are currently laying. Oh, you got this pair over here. And then, yeah, I got, they're in isolation. They've been bad, so they're over here in isolation. My Wyoming white and black snowflake. Hopefully I get some bullet holes or something out of them. And then over here is my little grow out system to 40 gallon on the bottom, 310 gallons on a little drip system, and they're about a month apart. These are part Da Vinci. I don't know if you can get in there and see some of the, a few of them got stripes. And then we, these two are just the regular, they're all a month apart. Ready? So, like, what do you do on say? What do you do on hatch night? What's your setup? On hatch night, uh, hatch night usually in here is about 11 o'clock at night. So I come down here about 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock earlier, and pull the pot out. Being careful when I pull the pot to keep the eggs submerged, the eggs submerged in water in a little bucket. Then I have blackout tanks over here that I put tank water in straight from my brood stock tank and fill it up halfway so the pot submerged and I put an air stone on it, bubble the eggs and we'll cover it up, turn all the lights off and come back down here in the morning and then there's baby fish in there. And I scoop up some rotifers. What are you, are you growing, what, you're growing yourself? Or? Yeah, I got rotifers going on in the buckets down here and this isn't going yet, but that's my little brine shrimp hatchery. It's nothing in there right now. And Add the rotifers and keep the lights on them. I got a, what you, I don't know what you call it, diffuser on there. <laughs> so it's not bright light and blind them because you will blind the babies. That's about it as far as the first hatch night. These are a month old here. So when they're about three weeks, two, three weeks, once they got their tail striped, that's when I know to move them. I see they have a tail stripe, so I move them over into the grow out tank. And we'll be hatching more eggs real soon, but I'm out of space. So I'm Josh, and we got Aaron. Aaron, and we want to thank you guys so much Thanks for watching. For stopping by. Yeah, we liked it. That was a nice little setup. I'm actually going to be taking some of his babies right there. In about a month, we're going to wait for him to grow out. Mm -hmm. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and uh, keep on reefing. Peace out. Close it out. <laughs>